happy summer solstice. What better way to celebrate than creating art with sunlight? Today we are going to be harnessing the power of the sun to create sun prints using objects found in nature, construction paper, and sunlight. Yep, that's all it takes. You may also choose to use things like tape, scissors, plastic wrap, or plexiglass if you have some, but those are optional materials. The first step is to get inspired by nature. Go on a walk or dig through your collections to find the perfect subjects for your prints. Look closely at your choices and think about why you chose these particular treasures. I've chosen my treasures because I think they all have interesting shapes. And when we make our sun prints, we are only gonna be seeing the shape of the object. We are not gonna see the color or the texture on its surface. I also chose some objects that are heavy enough to weight down my paper so that when I put them on the paper outside and leave them outside in the sun for hours and hours, the paper will not blow away. But some of the objects I've chosen are very light and if I just plopped them on the paper, they would quickly be blown away. But that's okay, there are some things that we can do to weight them down that I'll show you. The summer solstice is the longest day of the year, so we'll have lots of hours of sunlight to make our prints. After a few hours of lots of sunlight, remove your objects and check on your prints. What do you notice? Did anything change? Why would the color around the object be different than the color of the paper where the object was placed? The ultraviolet light from the sun damages the pigment in this paper, but where we placed our objects, those ultraviolet rays were blocked, meaning that this paper could maintain its color in those spots. So happy summer solstice from the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History. I hope that you have fun making sun prints today, getting outside, and exploring the natural treasures all around you.